I'm gonna be Dee Dee Doodle for Comic-Con. As you can see, if you know anything about Dee Dee, we have to shorten this and we have to curl these bangs inwards. Join me, my mom's gonna help. She's gonna be my glam squad today. Shout out to my mom. We're the doodle bops, we're the doodle bops, we're the doodle bops, boo 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 boo. No place better Hold than I know you're it. gonna wanna stay. Hey, thank you for your help. Here we are together, Dee Dee. Doodle. No. <laughs> Dee Dee. <laughs> Mo. Yeah, Rooney, Mo. Who's that wonderful girl? Could she be any cuter? When will I... This is actually really satisfying. Grabbing some hair products for this beautiful Dee Dee wig that's on my head still. I used this when I was Alf in Peter and the Starcatcher, and it's the goopiest thing I've ever seen. It says maximum hold. Go up. Go upwards. Uh-oh. Somebody what? help. Somebody help, it's falling. Aww. What the frick is happening here? Careful. Whoa. Whoa. This, yeah, N not so much. Wait. We used, I should have filmed this part. We used the sides of leggings that I found. I'll put up a picture of the leggings I found. We cut those out and sewed them to the bottom of the dress. Say we, because my grandma really helped with that. She's really good at sewing. I could use some work. And now I am painting, drawing the music notes. She's such a queen. I couldn't find any like adult DD things for some reason. We're cutting the legs off this bodysuit because our legs are actually a different color. Also, I want to be able to like pee and poop easily <gasps> in a bathroom. Also, we have these hands here, which we do need, but because I don't want to just like be gloved, like like just touching Comic-Con's grime and making them like dirty. And also these gloves, I tested it, do not work on iPhones. And I'm gonna want to like take pictures and shit. Cutting them off to make them more like gloves. And I'm gonna show you something really cool. Surely this is gonna detach from this part and it's gonna like, it's gonna expose my non-pink skin. And that's not ideal, obviously. How are we gonna cover this up? Like I said, cutting off the legs, I'm gonna use leftover fabric from there to create like a wristband. People gasped, people clapped. Do you think it was a good idea? I do think it's a good idea. The not bus driver Bob to my Dee Dee. Oh. Then was supposed to be cosplaying with me and I kept reminding them to buy stuff. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to yourself, man. I'm still gonna be Dee Dee. That's all that matters to me, me. I'm going to have to draw this on my hand and you know, if it bleeds through, I'm gonna be a doodle bop forever. But this is an essential part. And if you've watched my lore video, you know, this is why I consider the cartoon to be not canon because they do not have their magical, sparkly, magical button thingies. Oh my God, I go to a palm reader and she's like, I predict you're a doodle bop. Wow. Do you see the bottom? Fuck, ow, I'm wearing heels. Check it. It's the morning of Comic-Con. I hate this wig, but you know what? Not all of them can be as good as Mo and freaking and the whatever the Ruby. I mean, the curls are kind of cute. The back of my head looks ridiculous, whatever. Now I got to color match this to my skin. I brought a lot of my sunset makeup. Can you pump more gray into my hand, Ben? Actually, whoa, wait a second, wait a second. Did I cook? I definitely need to look more purple. I'm gonna add a touch of purple. No human skin. I'm whatever the doodle bops are, which was completely inconclusive. Can you tell we're in New York? I mean, for me, just like mixing it in my hand and putting it on like a face mask. I cooked, I cooked a meal. I ate it up. Do, 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 do. do you think I'll find a Rooney and Mo? I doubt it. In 2024, in the year 2024, probably not. I wish I was going other days and I could just be all of the doodle bops. And then people <laughs> walking the convention center be like, hey, what's that girl's deal? Hey, uh, what's her fucking problem? <laughs> that hates me. I want to do a contour. I'm surprised at how quickly this is coming together. I think I'm undeniably Dee Dee fucking Doodle right now. The characters in the Doodle Bops, I think, are in their 20s. This Dee Dee fucks. Oh, wait. I'll show you in the mirror on my phone. Dee Dee, Dee Dee. <laughs> okay. I'll see you at the convention. I think that's it. I don't think it's getting any better than that. I lost my ticket and they made me pay full price for a new one. Good way to start. Hi, second channel. I feel so much better now. I got a couple of drinkies. And I'm also trying Tung Hulu for the first time. That's fun and I like it. I also got a lot of stuff. I'm gonna do a haul later. Thank you to Kelly who gave me this camper cringe bracelet. I I would be super surprised if that wasn't the highlight of the day. I mean, that just, I almost cried. A savory peanut butter and jelly. It's, Say that one more time. This is like a savory peanut butter and jelly. It's the best thing 
maybe I've ever tasted, maybe. And did I show you my camper cringe race? I think I already did. This actually out did last year. Nice. I was in the same room as Ashley Tisdale. In the arm. Polls are cringe. Capitalism is the root of all evil. Yes. And check out what I got. This first one is extra funny when you realize that after I had to repay for my ticket, I went in thinking, I'm not gonna buy anything. Fuck this convention, actually. This is my most expensive purchase. It was the first one. It is a Vendula London purse. And I've been wanting a purse for a while. Look at this. This is a working clock. You open up the door. There's a little dog. I just think it's so cute. It's so spacious. It's like what a magical ant would have in a movie. And I also watch, I don't know if you know, this TikToker, entertainer, drag mother, Mother Birdie. They have been looking for a purse for a while and I've kind of been avoiding buying a purse. Like I didn't get the cuntage of a purse. I get it now. This is how I felt when I bought my first Betsy Johnson. Does this swing out? I didn't even know that. What's 16 divided by two? Okay, moving on. But like, one more moment. It was worth the splurge. Oh, I didn't even read this. Most clock makers are normal. Some are cuckoo. Is it a little cheesy? Is it a little corny? Yes, but so am I. This is me if I were a purse. A viewer of mine came up to me and I'm sorry, I'm so bad with names, but I believe Megan. Am I, I feel like I'm right. Check out these posters. They're like cereal boxes, but for different shows. So I got Amphibia. I got, I had to get Tinkerbell. That's hanging up in the back, right right there probably. Fiber the 13th. Slash your hunger with killer flavor. <laughs> so yeah, that's probably going in Ben's office or our kitchen. I'm obsessed with it. Thank you to Jam on Red for these lovely posters. Instagram on screen. Now we have Ranolin Graphics with this insanely magical holographic of all the starters in Kanto. I'm planning on making quite a handful of Pokemon videos in 2025 for I want to be invited on a Pokemon trip by the Pokemon company because I love them and I'm obsessed with them. And I don't talk about it enough, actually. I discovered Spooksy Boo through their collab with Yo Gabba Gabba because as many of you know, I have a really amazing relationship with Yo Gabba Gabba. I have to hang up more posters they sent me. But when I went, to the Spooksy Boo booth, I had to pick up these Poe earrings. I mean, how adorable. I'm never gonna financially recover from this. Bird Brains was selling pins that is so astoundingly me that I, I just couldn't believe I've never heard of them before. I thought that Instagram would have known what I like by now and served me this in their algorithm. This is too cute. Fuck you know about Machoke. Machoking on my handsomeness, I believe, is what they said. Patrick Star you. Are you actually shitting me? This is amazing. The dude I talked to who created these, so incredibly nice. Follow on Instagram, please and thank you. You're gonna see me wearing these a lot. I probably should have refrigerated these. I got shots. I took one out of the four already. I got coasters from Shark Angels. It's all about conservation. I love aquatic life and they're threatened all too much. I got nailed it with a hammerhead shark. We got whale hello there with of course the whale shark. Born for greatness, a great white shark. And then go get him tiger, tiger shark. Very cute. I entered to win a raffle. I think I lost. Me and Ben went to Artist Alley and bought a bunch of comics as well. The Dead and Damned. This was more for Ben. This is a little too scary and gory for me. We got the first three or one to two and a half of Fiendish. And what drew us to this is they have their own language in the back to translate all the parts that are in that language. They also have a map. It was giving like a more mature dragonology for me. And then for Ben, it was giving action and drama and just no spoilers, but what's that horn for? Oh no. <laughs> we talked to the creator and artist. They were so nice. I can't wait to read this. Most of the time I'd say it's too serious for me, but I gotta, I gotta. I'm gonna translate all of those pages. I'm so excited. We got book one of The Last Mermaid, which I think contains the first, how many was it? There's a bunch of comics in this one. Derek Kirk Kim worked on Adventure Time. We just like casually were talking because I was dressed, you saw me, I was Dee Dee. And he was like, Princess Bubblegum? I'm like, close. Got it signed. And he even drew the axolotl because I said that's what 
drew me to it. Girl, come on. You already know. I say that so much. I bet people are like, I don't know. I actually don't know at all. I don't know anything about you. And stop saying I do. And last but certainly not least, we had a talk with someone who worked from the New York Public Library and they gave us different recommendations based on our tastes. Ben obviously got a lot of horror, if you know Ben. And I got a lot of gay, funny, silly, Steven universe stuff because I'm annoying. It was truly a magical Comic-Con despite the rough start. Thank you to all of you who came up to me. You were, as always, the best part. I love chatting with you. I chatted with you guys a bunch. I know a lot of your names. You guys are the coolest. I'm fans of you too now, okay? There, I said it, and I hope that doesn't sound creepy. Have a great day, Second Channel butt lovers. I'll see you at the next one. Tell BidCon to invite me. Bye!